What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lazelle and for today's video, as you can see, I'm just over here straight chilling. I have my fluffy white robe on, my fancy little pom-pom headband and no makeup on my face because I am going to be doing a first impressions on a skincare product, particularly a mask. So the guys over at Bougie & Co asked me if I would be keen in testing out their Bougie Bubble Mask. This is it right here. This is the Charcoal Bubble Face Mask. I'm super intrigued by it. So I was like, hell yeah, I'd be keen to test it out. This is it here. This is the packaging. I honestly, I haven't even opened it up yet. I wanted to get like my genuine reaction to it on camera. So just the packaging itself is so bougie, so extra. And you guys know me, I'm all about my bougie extra type of vibe. So this is just like speaking to me right now. I love the box itself. I'm just gonna go ahead and read like the product description on the back, cause it does have like all that good stuff on the back. So I will read it out to you guys. So it says, revive your skin with our clinically derived cleansing bubble formula. The self-activated charcoal bubbles penetrate deep into the pores. It removes any impurities promotes blood circulation and stimulates cell turnover for a smoother and brighter complexion. So that sounds very appealing to me right now because I feel like I haven't been getting much sleep for the past week or more. Plus, I am like slightly breaking out. I think I think that time of the month is coming up, TMI, but you know how it is. So I am very keen to test this mask out. It says for instructions on how to use it, it says to wash your face thoroughly and dry before application. Unfold the mask, adjust mask on face, aligning with eyes and mouth. Leave on for five to eight minutes to allow bubbles to fully form. Remove the sheet mask and gently massage the skin with the remaining bubbles. Rinse off with cold water. So now that I've read all that good stuff off the back, let's open this bad boy up and see what we're working with. Oh, I didn't realize that the packaging was so sturdy. Okay. Very bougie. Oh, all right, there's like three masks inside. Damn, okay. That is nice, I like that. It's gold, you guys know I love my gold. So just a little back info on these masks. As we know, they are charcoal bubble masks. I have looked on their website, they do retail for $25 a pack, which is pretty decent because there are three masks in a box. And they do also offer free domestic shipping for any orders over $50. So I will leave a link to the website down below. But for now, let's open this baby up and get it on my face because I'm very intrigued. Like it's, it feels like there's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, I've just opened it up and ooh, okay. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells like a perfume. It smells so familiar to me. Anyways, let's just have a look inside. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can really see into that because it is a little bit dark in there. So let's pull it out. There is a fair bit of like serum all over it, which I love. I love when masks come with a really decent amount of serum because I just want to slather that stuff all over my face. Alrighty, so this is how the mask looks. I know it is a little bit intimidating at first, but we're gonna put this on. In fact, first impressions, like off the bat, this is the first black face mask that I've ever seen. Usually they're always white. This is really soaked in product right now. Okay, I really like that though. I love that it is so drenched in the stuff. I'm having just a little bit of difficulty unfolding it because most face masks like this, like sheet masks that I use, they kind of come folded up with a piece of plastic so it kind of makes for easier, um, you know, unfolding of it. But I mean, that wasn't too bad, so let's put this on. <laughs> I feel so weird doing this. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. I need a mirror right now. I don't think there's like a right or wrong side to put it on either. Oh my goodness, it's like already starting to bubble up. Am I supposed to let it do its thing or? Move it around. Wow, that's sick. Okay, um, I'll just leave the bubbles to do their thing. And whatever is left on my hands, I'm gonna put on my neck, because that's what I usually do with um, whatever leftover serum comes off face masks. Is I'll just like put it on my neck, because it's very, very important to make sure you don't forget your decolletage when you are doing skincare. I'm also just gonna squeeze out like whatever excess serum is left in the sachet. Ooh, there's a fair bit in here. Do not neglect whatever is left in the sachet. 
with any face mask. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Yup. Wow. So as you guys can see, the face mask is completely bubbling up. It's doing its thing. And I do feel this really nice, like, bubbling sensation on the surface of my skin. It's not like stinging or tingling. It's just like you can you can also hear it. Like you can hear the bubbles foaming up and doing their thing. Also the leftover serum from the sachet that I applied to my neck is foaming up as well, which is awesome. The mask itself is really comfortable. It hasn't moved except for like here because I keep talking. But if I wasn't talking, I doubt it would be moving because honestly it is stuck. This area is stuck in place. And um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> So as per the instructions, it did say to leave the mask on for five to eight minutes. For me personally, with all face masks, I generally leave them on for like half an hour to an hour because, you know, I just really want that stuff to be working for me. But I I'm just gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes, see how it goes, and I will come back to peel it off. So. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Alrighty guys, I am back. I've had the mask on for a little over 10 minutes at this point, so I'm ready to take it off and let's see what's underneath. I like you don't even wanna take this off because it's so relaxing, but the time has come. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was really clean. Goodbye my friend, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> So let's take a look at the skin now. As you can see, there is still a little bit of uh, foamy stuff left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rub that into the skin. Can I just say that I am low-key surprised <laughs> that my brows didn't come off during this process because I was sure that I was gonna peel that mask off and I wasn't gonna have any brows on, but they stayed put. Alrighty, so all of the bubbles have been massaged into my skin. My face does feel really sticky right now, so I guess that's why they suggest to rinse it off with cool water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Rinse my face, and then I will be back. I'm back from rinsing off all of the excess product from my skin and my face. Just feels like as smooth as a baby's butt right now. It feels so smooth. I feel like my skin just looks like nice and refreshed. Obviously, I still have my pimples, but you know, those aren't gonna go away overnight. But yeah, guys, that mask was a lot of fun. I had so much fun testing it out. In fact, it's over here, like still bubbling away. I can hear it like just doing its thing, still bubbling up. So I'm sure I could have worn it for a longer amount of time. Regardless, I had so much fun testing out that face mask. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below and I will leave all of the links to where you can find the face mask if you guys are interested. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you may as well hit the little red subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos I post. If you guys wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, all of those details will be down in the description box as well. And also, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know if there's any other you know, like face masks or foundations or whatever kind of products that you would like to see me do reviews or first impressions on. I love doing first impressions and I feel like I've kind of, you know, stopped doing them for a while, but I'm ready to test out some new things. So let me know what you wanna see down below. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.